One of the main reasons people think about purchasing tunnels or why they own tunnels is for season extension. Uh, you can get plants started earlier in the spring, you can plant, have them out later in the fall and sometimes in the winter or over the winter depending on where you are. And that is definitely a big part of why I own tunnels, but there are a lot of other reasons and I want to talk about those today and we'll get into all that stuff. But I grow 100% under tunnels this year and I couldn't be happier. Here in North Carolina, season extension is definitely part of why you want to own a tunnel. But for me, the biggest reason this year to get tunnels and grow 100% under tunnels is protection from the rain. Now in the south, and I'm sure there's other areas that experience this too, but we get these really intense rain events. We'll get a couple inches in a couple hours or overnight, and it can create a lot of damage. It'll damage the plants, we'll lose soil, there'll be a lot of soil erosion, we'll get um, overly wet areas creating anaerobic environments and just creates a lot of havoc. So having it covered is awesome. And the way I set up the farm this year, which hopefully you guys have seen, and I'll leave a link down below for a video about this, but we dug trenches on either side of the tunnels and that has been huge. All right, so I'm standing between my two tunnels here in that ditch that I was talking about and good water management is crucial on a farm if you get heavy rain events. And that's something that we took very seriously as part of the plan here. And as we're expanding out the farm, we're gonna be continuing to do this because it's working really well. All the water comes off these tunnels and comes down to this ditch and gets carried away because this is off contour. So because it's slightly downhill, the water can move right away from the tunnels and keep the beds really dry. Because we dug out these ditches here, we essentially raised up all of the beds inside the tunnel. So when it rains, it stays completely dry in here. It works really, really well. I know I'm talking a lot about the benefit of the tunnels protecting the beds from the rain. And there are a lot of other benefits, which I'll get to later in this video, besides the rainwater protection and the season extension. But the main reason that I wanted to do this video is because we have a tropical storm headed here tomorrow. It's early July, and I know it's technically hurricane season here, but it just seems really early. And it makes me think back to 2018, which was my first season here at the farm and first time farming ever. We had two hurricanes that came in within three weeks of each other in the fall of 2018. Now, when the first storm came in, it wiped out everything. I pretty much lost every crop because I had one small tunnel and everything else was open field growing. So I just replanted the whole farm as fast as I could. Three weeks later, the next hurricane came through, killed everything again. And you know what I did after that? I replanted the whole farm again and it was almost too late then to get the crops big enough to go into the winter time and I had a terrible growing season uh, because of that and really struggled through the winter. And that was one of the main reasons for having, you know, a tunnel is protection from the rain. And, you know, thinking about hurricane season here, you know, if you can protect your crops through one of those storms, it's a huge benefit. Now the, the tropical storm coming in tomorrow is gonna be a good amount of rain and it's not gonna be super windy, which is great. And we'll talk about some of those things and how you can protect your, your crops and also your tunnels from that. So it's still a little warm out here and I'm gonna wait for the sun to go down and cool off before I close up the tunnels. But that's what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna close everything up and that way when the storm comes through tomorrow morning, we should be pretty good. I just closed up the tunnels and it feels really weird to do that in the summertime. I don't think I've closed them since it was below freezing <laughs> in the uh, late winter. So it feels really weird, but I waited as long as possible tonight because I wanted to cool down out here and it didn't really cool down that much, but I didn't want to trap any extra heat in there. And I waited until it was pretty much dark and it pretty much is dark if you can't even see me right now. But you want to keep in mind that if you're going to have a storm, even a thunderstorm or something like that, the best thing you do is close your tunnels up completely. Uh, and obviously like it'll keep the rain out, but you want to make sure you keep the wind out because if you have a side open or an end wall, the, the wind can come in and then lift up the plastic and you can lose your plastic. And that actually happened to me at Raleigh City Farm just after I started there. You guys can probably tell in this video that there's no plastic on the top of the tunnel. So yeah, I pulled up into the farm this morning and it was like the first thing that crossed my mind. And yep, we lost our plastic. And I think it was due to a few reasons. One is just, it really wasn't very well attached on the sides. Wind came in and just ripped off the plastic. So you wanna be really, really careful about that. So as I said, the rain's supposed to come in early tomorrow morning. So hopefully this is all set and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, it's the next day and kind of the end of the day, but I've been inside editing video all day while it's been <laughs> pouring rain outside. It looks like the storm moved through pretty quickly, so I'm gonna go outside, open up the tunnels, and check out everything. Looks like the storm is basically over. It moved through the area pretty quickly today. It was pretty intense for most of the day, and it didn't look like we got a ton of wind, but we did get a lot of rain. I don't know how much rain we got because I don't have a rain gauge because <laughs> everything's in a tunnel, so I don't really care how much it rains. But I did open up the tunnels just to make sure I got any heat in there that was out now that it's uh, it stopped storming. But it's spitting a little bit out here, so I'm gonna go move in the tunnel, talk to you a little bit more. 
inside one of my tunnels and just by looking around you wouldn't even know that it rained today and that's the beauty about having tunnels when you have these big rain events there's complete protection between that and then with the ditches by raising up the the tunnels it works really really well and when i saw the forecast for the storm starting to you know approach north carolina and i didn't freak out i was like i'll just close up the tunnels and we'll be good and you know what we're good and if you're looking for a tunnel like this uh, a great place to get them is today's sponsor which is farmer's friend i own two tunnels this one and the one next to it for all of my in-ground growing they've been incredible this year not only in terms of the performance of the tunnels but the ease to set them up and the company in general is just doing awesome things they have a lot of great tools for market gardeners out there and they're supporting growers all over the place by innovating and you know making sure you get what you need so i really recommend you go check out farmer's friend i'll leave a link down below and i want to thank them for sponsoring this channel couple other things that the tunnels can be helpful for. One is protection from the wind. So if you have a really windy day, you can close up the sides and the ends and you can protect the crops. I don't know specifically how much wind these kinds of tunnels can take, but I know Farmer's Friend does. And if you have questions about your area, give them a call and they'll let you know what all of their different models can handle and be successful in different conditions and all that kind of stuff. They're super helpful about that. Another thing is you can put shade cloth over a tunnel or a greenhouse and if you're in an area that gets full sun all day and you need to knock the temperature down in here a little bit it's really easy when you already have a structure you can add shade cloth i actually bought some shade cloth and decided not to use it this year because i don't get full sun back here because of the trees so you know for me it's i think the plants would get too leggy if i use them so for me it's it's not been something i've been using another thing is the irrigation is really easy to set up in a tunnel and this overhead spr sprinkler system which i've talked about a little bit before and i will make a full video about my irrigation system soon this came from farmer's friend as well and it's dialed in specifically for this tunnel and it works so well i also have drip in here and i have complete control over the irrigation because it doesn't rain so I can control exactly how much moisture is in the soil whenever I want. Everything's on timers. If it rains or if it doesn't rain, it's pretty consistent in here. And anytime you can control the elements and create consistent environments for your crops, they will generally be more successful. Another thing is that the plastic will reduce the sunlight by about 10%. And in the summertime, if you have enough ventilation on the sides and the end walls here are completely open, you can actually keep it fairly cool in here even without shade cloth. And so that protection is also really welcomed. Anyways, lots of great stuff in terms of tunnels and how they can be beneficial. And Kilpie gave you some things to think about besides just season extension. And I'm really excited to have these tunnels going into the winter because it just makes things so much easier. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit subscribe if you're not already. And we'll see you in the next one.